Okay, real quick for you Tika guys, for everyone else. Just got my Tika back, multi-cam hydro dip. Got it done over at Black Boar. Did a great job, super happy. Small parts, such as this, bolt release, Cerakoted tan. So real quick, I'm going to talk about assembling this because I stripped it down, straight down. Go over some things real quick. Okay, action screw, action screw. Oh, right here. Action screw, action screw. They get torqued. I believe it was 45 inch pounds. They're torqued. The, the action gets pushed in the direction of recoil, the chassis or receiver gets pushed towards the muzzle. We have put the, what do you want to call it? The barrel nut, maybe the handguard nut has been on and it just gets snugged, no lock tight. Next, because it's easy, we're just gonna mount the handguard. Nothing, nothing exciting, nothing special. Uh, let's see, handguard screw. Uh, nothing uh, fancy about this. Uh, what I do like to do let me get these sort of snugged um, when I'm setting these up I just sort of eyeball the uh, where they meet there flat flat good enough um, on this, it doesn't have to be a you know super super true because you're generally you're not hanging lasers, uh, irons, uh, anything of that nature. Um, but as long as uh, both of those come flat to each other, you should be okay. Now. You can do it like an AR-15 and and uh, take your scope mount and put across it, straddle the halves, if you will, and that will keep them both straight to each other, but I'm just going to snug this. I'm not going to torque it yet. Okay, so there we go. Not sure if you can see it real well in the light that I have here. Looks great. Let me flip this light on. Maybe it'll help. It looks a lot better than my previous paint job. It's all smooth. It's all sort of, you know one layer if you will um, this is licensed you can see the license right there this is licensed multi-cam okay so that's on now the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be the butt assembly so Butt stock. Let's see if I shut this off. There. Lighting's better. The butt stock is, I think, going to be the hardest part of the assembly. Uh, butt stock screw, I believe, is this one. Oh, wait a minute, I lied. I believe it's this one. Um, 
you don't have to assemble this in the same order. You could have started at the butt end, but uh, I chose not to. Oh, before we put that on, where is our tub of small parts? We have the stock, um, we have the sling piece, and that is going to take, if I can find them, I think these two. Luckily for us, our Tika wrench, that our Tacky One wrench or whatever that comes with the uh, with the gun, gonna come into play here. And just ratchet that down, torque that on. Uh, these were pre-Loctited, so no. Loctite necessary here. Most everything has a helicoil in it. So you shouldn't need to run any Loctite on any any of the chassis screws. They have some form whether it's a whether it's a lock nut or they have some form of, of thread lock on them. Okay. Now I'm just going to get this started. Let's see if I can do it down here. Now we're back to the smaller wrench. If I can do it one handed. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Okay. I'll start it and then I'll bring it up here to show you. I'll get one to hold it and we'll finish it off. Okay. So those screws, you can kind of see one under here. They are both uh, countersunk. And um, again, there's a helicoil down in there. At least there is on mine. And we're just going to snug it. See if I can. See if my little ball. Ball's too big. Okay. Now, once the screw head gets down, it will drop down far enough I can bend the. Uh... Oh, bend the whole. Uh stock around and there we go and access it better so i'll take this out real quick whoops you can't see down in there but you'll see them on yours uh the the closer one to the to the latch was sticking out a bit far and that's why i couldn't get the 
stock all the way around, but now it's in place. Just going to give them a snug. And again, there's a helicoil in there. You shouldn't need Loctite, at least on mine. There's a helicoil. Okay, that's done. Now we've got to assemble the butt. Okay, so the next thing that you have to do uh, in the assembly of the butt stock is you've got to put your, I, I call this the slider plate. I don't know the term, the base plate maybe, but this is the first plate that goes on the gun. Now you're going to need, I mean the butt stock, you're going to need your countersunk heads, head screws, uh, and they go in like so. Now, remember, you're going to need this. Um, I don't know what you call that, the sliding adapter. I don't know. But this is the first. This goes on the end of the buttstock first. And as soon as I get this down in here properly I'll show you I want to get it on uh, enough so it don't pop uh, off and let that little adapter slider piece but there you go and you can see how those go tapered screws maybe you want to call them tapered screws Regardless, they go on, and uh, let's see here if I can get the right wrench out one-handed. Okay, we'll just sort of snug those up. Now, I didn't see a helicoil in there, so I guess if you wanted to put a bead of Loctite, you could. I'm just going to torque them up pretty good. They should be fine. I never had problems with them before. So, there's that. You got your plate. And now, you've got to do this plate. And on this plate, you've got if I can get it out of here. You've got a lock washer in this center hole. Okay, and this screw screws into this, um, what did I call this, that slider bolt. I'm going to snug it so you can see it. And I've off-centered it a little bit, but you can see, and when you adjust this, that's what gives you, that's what gives you your um, adjustment so that the stock fits your, your shoulder pocket. Now, mine was at the factory setting and that's where I'm leaving it because it's worked really well for me right there. Maybe later on I'll adjust it, but I'm just going to. Give that a snug up. Then we're ready for the butt pad. And this I'm going to let gravity work for me. With me, if you will. And uh, I'll see if I can set that 
there so you can see. I'm assuming the screws are the same. But it's not feeling that way, so let's try the smallest down. Yep. It's the smallest on the one side. Um, just a reminder, I'm using the Tika Multi Wrench that comes with the TAC A1. All these screws, all of them, you have a wrench for all of them on this tool. We're just going to snug these down. Now you just want to snug them up, don't strip them. Okay, that should be good. Everything looks good, no gaps around it. Uh, maybe a little gap there. Maybe I should uh, torque this one just a shad more. Okay, I took care of it. Just double check. Okay, we're good. Everything is assembled but the pistol grip and the cheek piece. Let's do the cheek piece since we're on the stock. And, okay, so here, this is self-explanatory. Cheek piece goes on. Then you're going to need the screw, the nut. The nut goes on your, at least for me, I put it on the shooting side, the strong side, trigger finger side. And that way I can adjust and you get the point. Pretty self-explanatory. The nut goes through. The nut has a flat. And that flat goes uh, between the Kydex cheek piece. Your nut goes on. But there is one thing that I'm going to remind you of. If you're not, if you're not already familiar... Let me get these up here first. Actually, yeah, let me get them up here first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you because you might not see. If the camera, at the end of this screw, you'll see a, a groove. That groove is for your, um, what do you want to call it? Snap ring. There's a snap ring that goes on the end. And that prevents your screw, if it was to thread loose, from falling off in the field. So I'll put I'll put those snap rings in if I can. One handed, but I don't think I can. Okay, it looks like this one screw isn't pulling through because that flat didn't line up. So let's take that back off, push that through. Now we're playing with it. Okay, now. Better lay this on its side. Get some of this out of the way. Okay, we need something flat or a knife. Just use my knife.
trying to be delicate here so that you don't scratch your screws. Okay. There. One is on. Just going to make sure. Now the next snap ring. Yep, and there it is, and I'll show you. So there we are. That's on, it's installed properly, everything's good. The buttstock is done. Okay, now we'll flip it upside down. Pistol grip, we'll push that down in place. And let's see if I can bring you up here just a little bit. I had you see the action here. Okay, pistol grip is on, it's in place, and there's only one other screw. Let's see, oh, right here. Okay, the screw, what size is this? Okay, and what I do is I actually tilt this up. Take our screw, guide it. Um, I can only start it with this because it's, whoops, not long enough. No big deal. I believe this is the right size, this extension. Yep. It's a ball head, so hopefully it don't fall off. Okay. Now that it's taking a bite, we can flip it upside down. It's not taking a bite. Okay. There we go. Put that on. Now, just a little. Should be tight enough. Just double check. Perfect. Now, I'll bring you sort of back up here. Inside of the action was Cerakoted. Everything is uh, together. We're going to take the bolt. See if I can show you here. Take the bolt, run it back through here. Quick test fire. Okay. 
I got a new trigger spring. Feels really good. Okay, that's it. The, uh, the Tika is back. It's assembled. It looks fantastic. Wow, check that out. So that was the long uh, assembly video. And um, there are a whole bunch of new products. I've got new bolt handles. I got, man, I got all kinds of things. Uh, before we get out of here, there's one more thing to show. We had the uh, Audiri. Audrey, Audrey scope mount. It got multi-cam dipped. Okay. Really cool. And then, if I can get this out of the way. Let's not forget. If I can get it out of the box the box open here the icing on the cake the Steiner it's a whole package everything everything was dipped man look around those numbers illumination knob everything came out perfect everything is great on top sweet that's it i'll get it all assembled finish assembling it tonight stay tuned i got videos coming left and right i've been waiting seven weeks for this i've got lots of cool stuff going on I'll catch you later.